Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery here at the 2022 ATA show in Louisville, Kentucky. I am here with Brian Jones at the B3 booth. And Brian, we have the exact sights from B3 and yep. this is a new version, the Rise. Yep. Tell us about it because I like that handle there. Sure. You know, B3 Archery, we make sights releases and broadheads. Under our sight line, we call it the exact sight line. You guys know about it. We've been out for a couple of years. Uh, new for 2022, we've kind of made some tweaks and, and expanded the product line. You've seen all these new uh, riser designed by the bow companies. Uh, so what, what we wanted to do was make our product fit all these different risers and have the option without being so complicated. So under the rise line, we have a new sight this year, uh, the rise target and the rise 3D. What we did is we made a new bar that will fit into the Matthews riser. You know, the new Matthews riser is basically a hole through the riser, and it's and it's kind of a it's a cool cool shape. It's a cool concept. It it eliminates the mounting block, uh, so it keeps your sight centered in the riser. So we wanted to make a bar that not only worked on that, but actually fit precisely into the hole. So behind us here, you'll see a Matthews riser, and the bar is actually going through the riser. Uh, and it's contoured to fit the bottom of the riser. Right. So when it fits, it's gonna have a nice snug fit. This is the bar. Uh, the cool thing about exact sights, PJ, is all of our sights are, you can change the bars from any of the bars. They're, they're, they will all accept any bar. So if a guy wants to get the uh, Rise Target, the Rise 3D, and he wants the Matthews bar option on it, you just order it with a Matthews bar, it's very simple. We have two links in that bar. We have a Hunter, Hunter model and a 3D model. So if a guy wants a longer bar or a shorter bar, that's an option. Uh, and they both will fit any of the sites. And part of that with the that center bridge lock design sure. is having that right adjustment. That's what people are running into. Absolutely. They don't have enough Absolutely. right adjustment. Grab that, bar, that site back. So what we did may be a little bit different. I don't know what some of our competitors have done because we just we do our own thing. Sure. Uh, we're an American-made company. We do all our design, all of our manufacturing right in Kentucky. So what we did ourselves is we'd put the offset into the bar. So we took a larger piece of aluminum and we machined it into that. That way it kept it in a streamlined look without having to add an attachment and more bolts and screws. So the other thing that we did, I think a little bit different than maybe some other people have done is we actually, under the bottom of the bar, we contoured the bar. So if you look at the Matthews riser, it's a cool shape. But what they have, they have some holes that are drilled, that are round in the corners, and they do that for their machining process, so I understand the process behind it. But what we tried to do was take advantage of that shape and mill our bar to, to exactly fit that shape. So when you lock that site down into the riser, it's going to stay vertical with the riser. So that's what we tried to do. Uh, it's a cool shape. It's a cool-looking site. Uh, Check it out. I feel like it's going to, you know, so far it's probably been our biggest hit so far at the ATA. It's been this new sight bar. And I want to talk about this adjustment yep, yep. on this uh, site here. Uh, where's the target one? Yeah, yeah. Because we're, uh, we we're. Uh, what PJ grabbed up there was our exact uh, rise line. We have it in the Hunter model and a, a target or a 3D model. Uh, the, the target model has a vertical click system that's built in on the side. So with this system, you know, you'll actually feel the click or hear the click as you roll it up and down the site. Really cool concept. It works awesome. We also have built-in stops at the top and the bottom. So if a guy does, wants to make it where he doesn't wind it all the way off the, to up the top or out the bottom, you can, you can take and tighten that up where it will not do that. I personally like it. I like to drive it off especially if I'm going to an archery tournament, going hunting, and I stick it in something and I put it back on. Uh, another new feature for the exact target line, uh, rise target, is, is the uh, laser sight scale. We added that to this site this year. It's adjustable up and down. Of course, the indicator is adjustable. Comes with all the sight scales that'll fit 95% of the bows out there. Uh, and again, this site will also accept any of our bars. So if you want the Matthews bar, you want the 3D bar, you want the target bar, it's very simple. You can order that. Well, we were talking to Braden Gelantine just a yep. minute ago, and yep. he was talking about, like, with this quick adjust, you know, shoots like Redding. You may shoot three yards on this target, go to the next one, and it's 101. And a lot of the new, new events that are going on, PJ, around the country, they're getting into this uh, shooting up and down hills, super long, walk and shoot a 90-yarder, walk up in and shoot a four-yarder. It's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. But if you're fighting a site that's traditionally a slower-moving site, uh, the next thing you've done a lot of cranking. This site's very quick, but you don't give up 
the ability to fine set, fine tune your site to the half yard uh, because this site's a very fine tunable site. The windage on it as well as one thousandths on the windage adjustment. Uh, the rise target's a really cool site. I think I think Braden's actually going to run that for Reading this year. Just show to the camera there. Do a full run of that site. Yeah. Just how you. I, I'll dial it to twenty, and yeah. I can go to a hundred just like that. So you know, I'm actually. So that's how quick I can come from twenty to a hundred. So. And we want people to know. I, I turn that thing. It's not just sliding up and down. There are individual clicks in yeah. there. You can feel it want to slow down and feel the individual click you actually can and you can actually go in between clicks so you can actually stop you know you're not you're not limited to going into a click and we did that with the design where we located the system we took it off the top and bottom which is traditionally where the, the, the sites have been and we put it under the drive part on the side of the site so it allowed us to expand the diameter and use a piece of steel so you're not going to wear it out and you can still have a nice click system that will give you some micro adjustability but still allow you to go from four yards to 100 yards without spending 15 minutes cranking your site. Yeah. That is awesome. Great innovation we always see from the folks here at B3. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.